Flooring sets the tone throughout your home. The flooring that makes the right first impression, start by choosing us, Floored by Justin. A one-stop flooring destination. Our new location stands alone for unequaled customer service and selection. Owner Justin Story's mastery of custom hardwood inlays means every room can have a custom look. Discover how the right choice of hardwood, laminate, carpet, or tile can set the tone in your home. Contact Floored by Justin today. Hey, this is Phil Hooper. Get the look you want for your favorite school, church, or business with apparel from HD Ink Screen Printing in Leoma, Tennessee. Got a logo you need embroidered or screen printed? Let HD Ink give you the professional look that sets the bar in today's world. We do fundraisers and custom designed apparel and so much more. Call today, 931-201-2961 or come see us at our new shop located at 26 Ingram Road in Leoma. Remember, HD Ink for the look you want and the look you deserve. If you're stuck, then you're in luck. Call Tower McDowell with in-service towing 24 hours a day, 7 days a week for quick, reliable service. When you find yourself in a bind, in-service offers full-service towing and recovery services as well as vehicle lockouts, jump starts, and emergency roadside assistance. Family-owned, family-operated. When you need a hand, call in-service towing or ask for them by name. Serving Southern Tennessee and North Alabama. Phone number 931-843-9098 or visit inservicespecialties.com. Jack Davis Insurance, located at 201 West Gain Street in Lawrenceburg, has you covered through life's obstacles. Facing those challenges is easier together. That's why Jack Davis specializes in group insurance. Valuable aspect of your business, your employees, with coverage for life, accident, cancer, critical illness, short-term disability, dental, and vision. Jack Davis can customize to meet every need. Serving Lawrence and surrounding counties since 1987. Contact Jack Davis Insurance today at 931-242-5225. Lawrenceburg Flooring & More is your premier source for hardwood, laminate, luxury vinyl tile, sheet vinyl, residential and commercial carpet, carpet tiles, ceramic and porcelain tile, waterproof floating floor, plus blinds and shutters. Lawrenceburg Flooring & More is also home to all name brands and can tackle projects big and small. Installation? You're covered with installers who've got years of experience and stand behind their work. Let Lawrenceburg Flooring and more make your design dreams a reality. 2760 Highway 43 North or visit lawrenceburgflooringandmore.com. Are you looking for the perfect refrigerator? What about a new stove or washer or dryer? It only makes sense to shop at the one place that specializes in appliances, top to bottom, big or small. And that's Kelly Appliance in Lawrenceburg. Kelly Appliance is home to all major name brands, including LG. LG makes life good with a full selection of refrigerators, cooking appliances, dishwashers, microwaves, and more, including appliances made right here in Tennessee. Family owned and family operated. Stop by Kelly Appliance on Jerry Street in Lawrenceburg like today. Like you, our roots are in Lawrence County. Providing banking for every stage of life since 1934, Lawrenceburg Federal Bank has been not just your bank, but also your friend, helping you with home loans, consumer and auto loans, and your everyday personal banking needs. Lawrenceburg Federal offers you a warm smile and personal experience, as well as the conveniences of modern-day online banking, mobile banking, and telebanking. Lawrenceburg Federal Bank, your neighbor and friend, located at 118 West Gain Street, next to... This is the X Sports Network. And welcome back to Grider Stadium here for game two of the doubleheader here between Medicine, Lawrence Medicine, County 16, and Phillip, Tullahoma. Adrian Good here on the X Sports Network here bringing you a game two of the action here tonight. So I am quickly trying to make a color change here as Lawrence County will be the home team due to the doubleheader was Back game two of the series was supposed 10. to be Mason. tomorrow, Ranger. but due to weather concerns, they have decided to 
switch it here to a doubleheader here tonight, which is just fine. Wildcats took the first game in extra innings between the two, winning that one nine to four, getting five runs in the top of the eighth. Take a look at the starting lineup, starting first with Tola Holmos, now three and one within the district. Head coach is Bruce Morris. Leading off at shortstop, Andrew Former batting second in center field. Balin Tootin batting third and pitching, J. Ron Morris. Batting fourth in left field, Evan Tomlin. Batting fifth at first base, Colton Emery. Batting sixth and catching, Philip Lemon. Batting seventh at third baseman, Mason Bratcher. Batting eighth in right field, Hunter Hogan. And rounding out the lineup at second base will be Trevor Cole. On the mound tonight here for Lawrence County in game two of the doubleheader will be the senior in Isaiah Bentley. At first base is T.J. Gobble, second base Gavin Glass, third base Cole Schultz. The shortstop will be Jack Emerson at center. Alex Bedford to left is Kaysen Smith, now the right true kid. Andrew Behind the plate for the second game Palmer. will be Cutler Cope. First pitch here from Bentley uh, to Fulmer is on the outside corner for strike one. Wildcats picked up the first district win since the district tournament on May 9th, 2022 against Spring Hill. That extra inning win here. Against Tullahoma. Here's the 0 1. Ground ball. Sent here to Glass at second. Throw over to first will not be in time. So Fulmer takes advantage of the big hop there, and Glass couldn't raise up quick enough to get it. So an end off, leadoff single here will start things off in the top of the first inning. Now batting number 19. He'll bring up Balin Tootin, Tootin, the center fielder. Tootin, who struggled a bit in his action there in that first game. Was able to find his way on base once. First pitch here from Bentley. Misses away for ball one. Not a bad evening here to try to get in a doubleheader. Should be clear. Rain not expected in the area till about 2 o'clock in the morning. So unless we have 1980s Braves Mets thriller, I think we should be good. Here's the one up. This is low for ball two. Logan Mays, the freshman, came in and did a great job for Lawrence County to pick up the win and hold the other Wildcat hitters at bay. It's a very dangerous lineup. Freshman, frankly, made it look easy. Bentley, quick pickoff, trying to give Fulmer. Wasn't in time. It got away just a hair from Gobble. Wind is blowing straight out the center, briskly at times, non-existent in others. Here's a 2 up. This is high for ball three. So 3-0 here, the two-hole hitter with one on, nobody out here in the top of the first. This pitch from Bentley. This is in for ball four. Four-pitch walk. And the first two batters of the game have reached base here for Tola Holman. Now batting number 27, J-Ron Morris. Brings up J-Ron Morris, the opposing pitcher. Morris, who was held hitless and... I think is the only Tullahoma batter not to reach base in game number one. So pitcher v. pitcher, and one of the few times you'll ever see in a lineup that each pitcher is batting third for each team. First pitch here from Bentley. Fastball in the outside corner for strike one. Here's the 0-1. Swung on a miss for strike two. Bentley here gets a sign from Cope. And the 0-2. And the dirt and a good block from Cope behind the plate for ball one. And the one, two, misses in and gets away from Cope, and both runners will advance a base. First run of the game now 90 feet away. Off the wild pitch, evens up the count of two balls and two strikes. Two and two, the count here to Morris. Pitch from Bentley. 
Swung on and missed for strike three, and that will be the first out of the inning. First strikeout of the game for Bentley. One out, two on here in the top of the first inning. We'll bring up Evan Tomlin. Tomlin, who had a really good game. Game number one for Tullahoma. Now batting number 18, Evan Tomlin. First pitch here from Bentley. Um, oh, say so just missed a hair away for ball one. One out. Same spot, different result for strike one. So. Put him on the count here to the four-hole hitter for Tullahoma. And the 1-1. Sending the center field. Beffer going back on it. Makes a catch. Fulmer going to try to score. And he will in the sacrifice fly. And Cope and Bentley kind of collide there as they were trying to pick it up and nab the next runner over at third. But he scores. Makes it one to nothing. Tullahoma here in the top of the first. Now batting number three. I'm going to bring Colton. up Colton Emery, the Emory. first baseman, caught in the first game. Reached base a few times in game number one and had some really hard contact and got robbed on multiple occasions from a base hit. Once in left center field, one by Cole Schultz at third. First pitch here from Bentley. Fastball in there for strike one. Oh, and one to count here. Five-hole hitter for the other Wildcats. And the 0-1. Swung on and miss on a changeup for strike two. And the 0-2. High and in for ball one. And the one, two. Breaking ball ripped down the left field line, but hooks towards the, the tarp. And will stay foul and keep the count of one and two. Emory can absolutely crush the ball when he gets a hold of it. I've seen that a couple times today. Here's a one, two. Swung on a miss for strike three, and that one will end the inning. Tullahoma gets one in the top of the first inning. Lead of one to nothing. First at bat for the Wildcats coming up next on the Exports Network. Are you looking for a non-factory job environment? Livingstone Freight Solutions is a 3PO company that began managing warehouses in Tennessee, Alabama, and Mississippi. With our multiple shifts and experienced management team, our goal is to give you as an employee a safe family work environment and competitive wages. We offer a wide variety of employment opportunities from forklift drivers to management level positions. We also strive to offer a competitive benefit package and PTO options. For more information or to apply, visit us at livingstonefs.com or give us a call at 931-2 Oliver Wellness and Massage, located in Pulaski, Tennessee, is your premier spa for massage therapy, salt therapy, IV therapy, tanning, and much more. Stay relaxed, look your best, and feel good at Oliver Wellness, located at 1187 West College Street, Pulaski, Tennessee, or contact Haley at 931-309-0462 or schedule your appointment online at 931massage.com. Whether you're looking to spruce up the interior or exterior of your home or business, trust Lawrenceburg Glass to provide a one-of-a-kind product. From windows to mirrors, shower doors, custom framing, storefront installations, and everything in between, Lawrenceburg Glass takes pride in our quality craftsmanship and strong attention to detail. With us, your customer experience always exceeds expectations. We're reliable, on time, and we deliver stunning results. Lawrenceburg Glass. Our passion is reflected in our work. 
Head on over to Shaw Southeast Distributing in Lawrenceburg to find everything you need for your home, business, or fundraiser. To make life easier, Shaw Southeast Distributing now accepts EBT cards. Have a concession stand, food truck, or just your kitchen at home? Leave it to Shaw to fill your shelves with ease. Shaw Southeast Distributing delivers. Family owned and operated. Phone 931-762-7760. Follow us on Facebook or visit us at 1603 Ripke Avenue in Lawrenceburg. Being raised in Tennessee, we believe in the importance of family and community. Creating a positive experience in our family owned and operated business is one of the ways we share that belief. Being in an accident can be extremely stressful. When it came time for my repairs, Mashburn's made it easy. I am lucky to have a wonderful company in my community like Mashburn's Collision Center. It's reassuring to know that I'm in good hands because their work is second to none. We pride ourselves that the Mashburn name is one of the most trusted in Lawrence County since 1981. Mashburn's Collision Center. Let our family take care of yours. This is the X Sports Network. Back at Grider Stadium, bottom of the first here with Tullahoma leading Lawrence County 1 0. Emerson leading off, followed by Bedford, Bentley, Daniel Kidd, Gobble, Schultz, Glass, and Smith. Pretty much the same exact st- uh, lineup, same for Tullahoma as the previous game. So Jack Emerson do up here first pitch from the opposing pitcher in J. Ron Morris, misses away for ball one. Emerson, who came up clutch, reaching base twice in the seventh and eighth, including a big two-out RBI single to extend the lead in the eighth and was driven in by that huge three-run homer by Alex Bedford. Takes the first two pitches low and away, and he's ahead in the count, two balls and no strikes. This pitch here from Morris, and Emerson a soft liner here to Cole. At second base, it makes the catch for the first down of the inning. Now batting number eight, Alex Bedford. One gone here in the bottom of the first. We'll bring up Alex Bedford. Bedford had reached base three times in the previous game. A triple, a walk, and a three-run homer in the eighth inning. It was an absolute frozen rope. That was no doubt off the bat. First bat here against Morris, first pitch. Strike one. And the 0-1. They cut for strike two. Lawrence County was really tough with two strikes in the previous game. The reason why they were able to come from behind and win it. The 0-2. Bedford, a big foul ball. Keeping the count, no balls and two strikes. Buckets just had five strikeouts in the previous game. The 0-2. Breaking ball misses away for ball one. The one, two. Breaking ball, misses Hive. Count evens up at two balls and two strikes. And the two, two. Misses Hive for ball three. So after going down 0 2, Bedford has now worked the count full. And the full count offering. And they're saying that's strike three. Two out here in the bottom of the first. Now brings up the opposing pitcher in Isaiah Bentley. Bentley who had uh, three singles and a pair of RBIs in the game. Game number one. Jason Moore's here for the first time. First pitch here from Morris. Breaking ball, swung on a miss for strike one. And the 0-1. 
Tapper. And Bratcher, the third baseman, throw over to first. Is in time, and that one will end the inning. Three up, three down for the Wildcats in the bottom of the first. It's one nothing total on the lead. We go to the top of the second next on the Exports Network. Old School Rentals in Loretto, Tennessee is headquarters for all your rental equipment needs. Need a trailer? How about saws, tools, loaders, or generators? You can find all of that and much, much more at Old School Rentals. Owner Ryan Smith, located on North Main Street in Loretto, Tennessee. Got primary care? Find your way to better health with primary care by One Stop Medical. With decades of combined experience, you'll find a one-on-one -on -one relationship just like the old days, but with the convenience and technology of today. When One Stop Medical does primary care, it's the best. Call today for an appointment and find your way to healthy living. Serving Lawrenceburg, Pulaski, and Hohenwald. Phone 931-244-8220. Primary care by One Stop Medical at its best. From our humble beginnings to today, Parks Lumber Company has continuously served Lawrence and surrounding counties for over a century. Although we started as a small lumber yard in 1896, we have grown to include everything you need to make your dream project come to life. No matter your building needs, our experienced staff will be with you every step of the way to ensure you receive the highest customer service and attention to detail you deserve. Visit us at 106 Second Street or on Facebook. We guarantee you will see working with PLC is as easy as one, two, three. This is the X Sports Network. Back here at Grider Stadium, as we go to the top of the Bad second, we're Coloma leading Lawrence County Phil. 1 2 0. 6 7 8, do up for the Wildcats. Lemon followed by Bratcher and Hogan. Lemon designated a hitter in the first game. Reach base by a hit by pitch, only time he reached base against Wildcat pitching in game number one. Facing off with Isaiah Bentley here. First pitch from Bentley. Swung on a miss for strike one. Camera moves away on me there. Bentley in the first inning. A hit, a run, a walk, a pair of strikeouts. Now at 20 pitches. Pitch 21. High and in uh, for ball one. Here's a 1-1. One, one. Line down the right field line. And fair. That's going to roll into the corner. On his way to second base with a stand-up leadoff double. Really good piece of hitting there by Lemon. And now a runner in scoring position. Nobody out here on the top of the second. Now batting number 10. It's the Mason. first extra base hit Bratcher. for Tullahoma so far in this doubleheader. Brings up Mason Bratcher. Runner out for Tullahoma, number 22, Cade Finn. Cade Finn is now the courtesy runner for Lemon out at second base for the other Wildcats. Bratcher had a single in the first game, but didn't do much after that. First pitch from Bentley. Fouled out of play for strike one. Here's the 0-1. Lined in the right field. That's a base hit. Finn coming around second. He will score. And Bratcher comes away with an RBI single. And Tullahoma leads it 2 to nothing. Third hit of the game for the other Wildcats. Hunter Hogan. Bring up Hunter Hogan. Hogan had a pair of singles in game number one. Facing off with Bentley for the first time. Tullahoma's bats coming alive here in game number two. A couple opposite field base hits, good pieces of hitting. First pitch here from Bentley, squares around the bunt, pops it in the air, and it falls foul for strike one.
in the 0-1. And that one is fouled or hit by pitch. Oh, yeah, he, was, he did not get out of the way. His, his bat was around, so that's going to be strike number two. So the reason why they called it what they did is because he was squared around the bun and did not get the bat head back in time. So even though the pitch hit him, if the bat head is out, it is still a strike. So I went to the count now here to Hogan. No argument from the Tullahoma coaching staff. Got a little bit of an argument here from the Tullahoma fans. Check on the ear. Bratcher over at first throw, not in time. Here's the 0-2. And high in the air. This one's going to stay in play. Cope. And that one falls. Cope and Bentley just couldn't communicate well enough there. And that one falls for still an 0-2 count. New life here for Hogan, 0-2 count. Next pitch, swung on a miss for strike three. That will be the first out in the inning. One gone here in the top of the second. Now brings up Trevor Cole, the now second baseman. Four. Trevor Cole. One on, one out here in the top of the second, a two, two to nothing lead. Cole had a pair of hits in the first game. Quick throw by Bentley, not in time. Next pitch here from Bentley, and that one is fouled onto the football field for strike one. And the 0-1. Ground ball right back to Bentley. Those the second. Great play by Glass. Goes over to first. Gobble with the stretch. And that one will end the inning. 1-4-3 uh, double play will win things here in the uh, top of the second inning. Go to the bottom half of Tullahoma leading 2 to nothing next on the Exports Network. Here at Heritage Automotive, experience the difference. With our great sales department, service department, and parts department. Now offering up to $10,000 off on all Chevy and GMC model 1500s. And we have over 30 lenders with some of the best rates in the market. Hi, it's Tad with Heritage Automotive. We want you to know when it comes to your vehicle, you deserve help, not hassle. With our 30 plus years of experience of being your local dealership, we're here to serve you. So whether it's routine maintenance, mechanical repairs, collision repairs, we're here to help. So give us a call today to schedule your service. Heritage Automotive, expect more, experience the difference. Do you ever worry about having too much in the garage? What about where you're gonna put the mower, or your ATV, or better yet, your mother-in-law? Look no further than Quality Storage Buildings located right next door to Flat Rock Cheese and More on the Minor Hill Highway in Pulaski, Tennessee. There you'll find the answer to your need in a compact or spacious metal building. Built by hand right at Flat Rock, by some of the finest craftsmen around, there's a perfect building for everyone, including economy, utility, cabin, lofted or garage models, and even an animal shelter line. Buy or rent to own, see the different models at Flat Rock or on North Main Street in Ardmore and on Highway 43 South in Dunn. Call today, 931-363-3603 or 931-201-2205. Back here at Grider Stadium is A.J. Daniel. First pitch he sees, sends a foul down the left field line. Just out of the reach of the third baseman and the left fielder for strike one. On one the count here, the four-hole hitter and the designated hitter and the freshman in A.J. Daniel. 
J. Ron Morris in the first inning. No hits, no runs, no walks, a strikeout through 12 pitches. Now at 13, here's pitch number 14. Swung on a miss for strike two. And the 0-2. Swung on a miss for strike three in the second out of the first out of the inning. Second strikeout of the game for Morris. Swung gone here in the bottom Andrew of the second. Kidd. Bring up the right fielder and Truett Kidd. The PA guy calls him Andrew, and it's Truett, which has gotten a few chuckles out of Lawrence County fans <laughs> so far at the game. First pitch here. On the outside corner for strike one. Or say he missed a, yep, strike one. Here's the 0 1. Missed away for ball one. Actually, it's 2 0. Our apologies. Here's a 2 0. Swung on a miss for strike one. Kid with a big swing there on the Morris fastball. And the one two on the outside corner for strike two. And the two two. This is high for ball three. And the full count offer. Hit high in the air to shallow center. Tootin calling everyone off. And makes the catch out in center for the second out of the inning. Got about five guys converging in one Go. spot. Two gone here in the bottom of the second. Brings up TJ Gobble. Had a pair of hits in the first game. A solo homer in the second. And had a single there in the eighth inning. Face Morris for the first time. Here's the first pitch. Outside corner for strike one. And the 0-1. Big swing and a miss for strike two. And the 0-2. Just missed low and away for ball one. And the one two. It's high. Count evens up. Two balls and two strikes. Deuces on the board, but two outs. The two two. Swung on the miss. That one's going to get away. Gobble's going to head down the first, and he's going to be safe on a strike three wild pitch. Number 22, the Cole. Uh, third baseman, Schultz. Cole Schultz, and Gobble becomes the first base runner of the game. Schultz had a pair of hits in the first game and a trio of amazing plays at third base. First pitch from Morris, missed away for ball one. And the 1 up. Fouled away into the parking lot for strike one. Not much win to speak of here on a pretty beautiful evening here at Grider Stadium in Tullahoma. And the 1 1. Gobble takes off. And a check swing foul ball for strike two. Schultz now will call time, getting a new play from his head coach and Cliff Wright. 
One and two the count here to the seven hole later for the Wildcats. Next pitch. Gobble takes off. Breaking ball in the dirt. And Gobble will get in safely. The second base, first run of the game. Now in scoring position for the Wildcats and 2 2 count. And the 2 2 on the outside corner for strike three, and that will end the inning. Wildcat Stram one in the bottom of the second to two to nothing total on the lead as we go to the top of the third next on the Exports Network. The Raptor Series from Hustler Turf. A premium line of residential mowers designed with a wide stance for operator comfort. A one-piece 11-gauge steel frame and welded steel deck for added durability Finished off with premium Kawasaki V-Twin power. We are Hustler Turf, and this is Hustler Country. There are now more ways to save at Quick Mart. Become a Quick Club member and easily earn rewards on qualifying purchases at Quick Mart convenience stores using the Quick Club app. Available in the Apple App Store and Google Play. To save on fuel for work, use the Fuel Rewards Pro app to earn five cents a gallon on work fill-ups and redeem the savings for yourself. To get started, visit fuelrewards.com slash pro or download the app in the Apple App Store and Google Play. Don't just find a job, find a career with Resource MFG. The team at Resource MFG in Lawrenceburg has the resources and experience to find you a full or part-time position right away. Now recruiting for open positions in Lawrence, Giles, and Murray counties. Whether you're entering the workforce for the first time or looking to take your career to the next level, let your journey begin with Resource MFG. Located at 300 Ellingson Street in Lawrenceburg, phone 931-570-2111 to jumpstart your career today. This is the X Sports Network. Now batting number 11. Back here at the Grider says we go to the top of the third. Toloma leading Lawrence County 2-0. Two, two, nothing. Due up now is Fulmer. Top of the order here for Tullahoma. First pitch here from Bentley. This is high for ball one. Fulmer who reached and scored a run in the first inning off an infield single. Here's a 1-0. Hit high in the air and out of play for strike one. And the 1-1, one, one. sent in the right field. True, a kid camping underneath it, makes a catch, and that's the first out in the inning. One gone here in the top of the third inning. Now I'm going to bring up Bray, Bay Balin Tootin, the center Shoot. fielder, walked in his first to bat in the first inning. Bentley now through two and a third, two runs off three hits, a walk, three strikeouts through 33 pitches. Pitch 34, a nice breaking ball in there for strike one. Here's the 0-1. Bunt, and it's an out of play for strike two. Then we can settle in here, and the Wildcat offense could get going. We can have a repeat of what we saw in game number one. The 0-2. Sent foul down the left field line. The count will stay where it is on the third pitch of the at-bat. The 0-2. High and away for ball one. Really rared back on that one. Wind shifting a bit, 
blowing back out towards right center. Here's a one-two. Breaking ball in the dirt for ball two. Brings up the count of two balls and two strikes. National championship night in men's college basketball. Don't have an update to give you so far. He's probably watching it anyways, so you probably could give me an update. Here's a 2-2 on the outside corner for strike three, and that's the second out of the inning. His fourth strikeout of the game as we got two gone here in the top of the third inning. Now batting number 27. Going to bring J. up J. Ron Morris. Struck Morris. out swinging in his first at bat in the first inning. Jason Bentley here for the second time. And actually, they haven't started yet, at least according to ESPN. They haven't. First pitch. This is ball one. So it's going to start 820 our time, 920 central, which makes a ton of sense. Next pitch in there for strike one. It's a ramp for another day. I might even do that on Wednesday. Here's a 1-1. One, one. Set back foul for strike two. Comes a one-two. Breaking ball sent out of play into the parking lot. The count will stay at one ball and two strikes. And another one-two. <laughs> That's some vintage Isaiah Bentley in the strike zone and then throws one about 12 feet in the air. Enough to get a chuckle here out of the crowd. <laughs> Even a chuckle from his own bench. Here's the 2-2. In the dirt for ball three, and the count goes full. Three balls and two strikes. And the 3-2. Just misses away for ball four. Second walk issued by Bentley, a two-out walk. Now brings up Evan Tomlin, the left fielder. Hit a sacrifice fly in the center field for the first run of the now game. Now batting for the top Evan of the first inning. Tomlin. Tomlin, who had a really good game in game number one and continued it here in the first inning, getting that sacrifice fly to get the other Wildcats on the board. Bentley comes set. Not a big lead over there first. First pitch. Fouled away into the parking lot for strike one. I feel bad for the guys on the bench there for Tullahoma having to chase down all those foul balls in the dark. Been there, done that for everyone who's ever played high school baseball. Bentley now checks on the runner at first, not in time. There's Morris over there. In the 0-1, this is high for ball one. In the 1-1, one, one. ground ball, and Bentley makes the play. Throw over to first is in time, and that one will end at the inning. Tullahoma strands one in the top of the third. It's a two to nothing Wildcat lead as we go to the bottom of the third. Coming up next on the X Sports Network. If there ever was such a thing as a company that could do almost anything, well, Tenneke Properties is it. These guys know how to completely transform your existing home into something new or just do it room by room. Need a new bathroom or kitchen? What about a fresh coat of paint? Even a new floor? Looking for dirt work? Tenneke has you covered. Oh, and you can even rent a dumpster from them too. That's Tenneke Properties. Visit Tenneke.com or phone 931-244-4602.
At Smith Tax and Business Service, we offer many services. Along with personal income tax prep, we also offer tax preparation for corporations and partnerships. If you're a small business and looking for some extra help, give us a shout and we'll get you fixed up. Call Mary Beth Smith, Marion Matthews, Brooklyn Bates, or Michelle Staggs to find out how we can help you. Located at 208 Pulaski Street, phone 931-244-6633. Are you tired of missing out on family life just to be treated like another truck number? Since 1986, Southeast Cares has been a family-operated business based in Lawrenceburg, Tennessee. Being family-owned ourselves, we understand the importance of family, which is why we value it above all else. With our large number of dedicated lanes and our friendly staff, we are able to evenly divide your home time with the amount of time you spend on the road. We offer multiple benefits with large company pay, all while keeping a small company environment. For more information, visit our website at southeastcares.com or check us out on Instagram and Facebook. This is the X Network. Back here at Grider Stadium as we go to the bottom of the third here. Tolome Elite, Lawrence County, 2-2-0. Two, two 7 8, eight nine, one, excuse me, do it for the Wildcats. Gavin, Gavin Glass will lead things off. J. Ron Morris through two innings, no hits, no runs, no walks, four strikeouts through 31 pitches. Pitch 32 is in there for strike one. And the relay back to Morris got away. Morris been very solid here. Isaiah Bentley has been pretty solid on the other end, trying to keep the other Wildcats at bay, waiting for the offense to come around. Here's the 0-1. Good swing, but sent back foul for strike two. Glass, who reached base a couple times in game number one, especially in the seventh and eighth innings. The 0-2. And the dirt for ball one. And the one, two. Breaking ball. That one got away. Catcher throw over to first. That one's in there in time for the first out in the inning. One gone here in the bottom of the third. Now brings up Kaysen Smith, the left fielder. Now bag number two, Kaysen Smith. Strikeout number five for Morris. Smith, who delivered the tying single. In the seventh inning, to tie it up before the sending in the extras. First pitch here from Morris, and that one's way away for ball one. And the one up. Sending to the parking lot for strike one. Comes a 1-1 for Morse. Breaking ball misses low and in for ball two. One gone in the bottom of the third. Tullahoma with a 2-0 two, two lead. Here's a 2-1. This is high and away for ball three. Hitters count here for Smith. Top of the order and Jack Emerson waiting on deck. And the 3-1. Ground ball. Bratcher, the third baseman, makes a play. Throws over to first in time for the second out of the inning. Another fine play by the third baseman and Mason Bratcher. Batting number one. Two gone Jack here in the bottom Emerson. of the third. Brings us to the top of the order with Jack Emerson. Emerson, who hit a soft liner to Cole over at second in his first at bat in the first inning. Facing Morris here for the second time. Trying to become the second base runner in the game for Lawrence County. First pitch from Morris. This is in the dirt for ball one. And the one up. That one hits Jack in the head. So... 
second base runner of the game. I know Jack wanted to become the second base runner for Lawrence County. I don't think he exactly wanted it that way. Uh, batting number eight, Alex Looks Spencer. to be okay. Now the trainer for Tullahoma to come out and check on Emerson over at first. He seems to be okay. Doesn't seem to be a bit woozy at all. Uh, to someone who's taken a 95 mile an hour fastball to the head. You can you'll certainly tell if that rocked uh, somebody or not. That wasn't exactly 95 miles an hour, but uh, field umpire doing the right thing, coming to make sure that uh, Emerson can pass uh, any sort of test uh, that is needed, which is the right thing to do. Every time someone gets hit in the head, I don't care how fast that pitch is coming. You certainly need someone to come out and check on them. Yeah, all smiles, it seems to be over there, and Jack seems to be okay. Trainer for uh, Tullahoma having having a few laughs with him. Yep, and he'll be okay. So give props to the uh, field umpire for doing the right thing and checking in on, Z on Jack. So one on two gone here in the bottom of the third. Brings up Alex Bedford. Struck out looking in his first at bat in the first inning. Trying to get some redemption here against Morris and maybe make him pay here for that two-out hit by pitch. Big lead by Emerson at first. First pitch here from Morse. Misses away for ball one. Morse on long signals here from his catcher in Lemon. Emerson continues just an inch's lead away as Bedford finally calls time. Do have some action in the Tullahoma bullpen. I don't know how serious that is over there. Seem to be serious as they check in on Emerson. Throw is not in time. They can check on Emerson again, the throw. Not in time. Emerson slides in safely. And the 1 up. This is low and away for ball two. And the 2-0, big swing and a miss for strike one. Bedford really swung out of his shoes on that one. He rarely gets cheated on a swing. 2-1 the count here, the 2-0 hitter for Lawrence County. And the 2-1, low and in for ball three. Hitters count now for Bedford. And the 3-1, low and in for ball four. So back-to-back -back free passes here with two outs. Brings up the 3-0 in on the opposing Isaiah pitcher, Bentley. Isaiah Bedley. Wildcats made magic with two outs in the previous game, trying to do the same here. Bedley, who grounded out the Bratcher at third on a slow roller in the first inning. Facing Morris for the second time. Here's the first pitch, breaking ball in the dirt for ball one. A one up. This is away for ball two. Two and oh, the count here to Bentley. And the two up. This is in the dirt. 
Good block there by Lemon behind the plate. Everyone at base. 3-0 and the count now here to Bentley. And Cliff right now giving out a signal here. Might be a take. As Morris has struggled to find the strikes. And through 50 pitches, 25 strikes and 25 balls. It does have a hit by pitch and a walk. 3-0. This is a way for ball four, and the bases are loaded after three straight two-out free passes. Brings up A.J. Daniel, the freshman, struck out batting swinging his first at bat in the second inning. Now batting number four, A.J. Daniel. So the third free pass, two walks and a hit by pitch by Morris Hall here in the bottom of the third inning with two outs. Filled outfield playing normal for the Wildcats. First pitch. High and away for ball one. Here's a one up. High and away for ball two. Daniel getting the play. I don't think he got the right signals. Might be just getting the takes on here. 2-0. Inside on the corner for strike one. First strike in a while there from Morris. Two one. Daniel will foul that one away. The count evens up. Two balls, two strikes. Deuces on the board with two outs. Bases loaded here. Big situation for the Wildcats trying to get back into this one. The 2 2. Swung on a miss for strike three, and that one will end the inning. Wildcats strand the bases on the bottom another. of the third. It's a two to nothing. Tolo on the lead as we go to the top of the fourth next on the Exports Network. Southerncraft Manufacturing is dedicated to creating the finest quality and greatest value products in the death care industry. Southerncraft has perfected blending old world craftsmanship with modern manufacturing technologies to create a full line of steel, wood, and corrugated caskets. Family owned and operated for over 30 years, Southerncraft is now looking to hire local and regional truck drivers, welders, and production workers, each with great starting pay and a benefits package. For more information, visit southerncraftmfg.com. For the best at home care in Lawrence County, the Summit at Home is the right company for you. We have a friendly staff over 25 that is trained, educated, and qualified to help with all your needs within your household. Our non-medical services include transportation, housework, dressing, and companionship. We are also covered by most long-term care providers. For more information, please call 931-762-2310. You know, Storing Lee Furniture is not just some huge chain store, but we do have a 144,000 square foot showroom right here in Leoma, Tennessee. The Story family has worked together in the business for over 50 years now, and a familiar face is here to help you with whatever you need. That's what being a part of the community right here in the Tennessee Valley means. And if you have an issue, we're right here to take care of it. And don't forget free delivery. We invite you to come see us. We're Storing Lee Furniture. This is the X Sports Network. Two nothing Tolo on the lead as we go to the top of the fourth here in game two of this district Tolo District double <laughs> six seven eight due up for Tolo Homa. Emery Lemon and Bratcher. Isaiah Bentley on for his fourth inning of work through three, two runs off three hits, two walks, four strikeouts through 49 pitches. Pitch 50 is a fastball low and away for ball one. Emery struck out swinging in his first at bat in the first inning. And the one up. Just misses away for ball two.
Here's a two up. This is in for ball three. Bidley now trying to reset himself here. Goes back to work. Here's a three up. This is high for ball four. Four pitch walk to lead off the top of the fourth inning. Brings up the catcher and Phillip Lemon doubled down the right field line and his courtesy runner scored a run. Now batting number the 16. Bottom of the, excuse me, Phillip. top of the second. Lemon. It's the only extra base hit that Tullahoma has in this doubleheader period. Lawrence County's bullpen starting to break out into action now. Bentley now at 53 pitches. That was his third walk issued. First pitch here. It's in there for strike one. Not a big lead over there at first. Here's the 0-1. Foul back off of the facade for strike two. Going to the count here to the six hole hitter, Philip Lemon. Emory on first. Zero two. Breaking ball, good job by Cutler Cope to backhand make it a play. One ball, two strikes to count now. Infield a double play depth, outfield playing normal as Bentley tries to catch Emory off guard and can. A one, two. Swung on a miss for strike three in the first out of the inning. His fifth strike out of the game as we got one gone here in the top of the fourth. Bring up Mason Bratcher. RBI single into right. Good piece of hitting in his first at bat. Mason Bratcher. Second hit of the doubleheader in the third time he's reached base in the doubleheader. So one on, one out in the top of the fourth. First pitch from Bentley. Runner takes off. It's in the dirt and he'll get in safely. Runner in scoring position, 1-0 count here to Bratcher. Emory got off to a big lead there and a good jump. A 1-0. This is high, and now Emory will make his way to third base off the wild pitch. Two and another count now. Run three, 90 feet away for Tullahoma. And Phil playing in for Lawrence County. Here's a 2-0. This is high and in for ball three. Looks like you got Caden Short warming up in the Lawrence County bullpen. Tries a pick off there at third. And really not happy about something out there. The 3 0. This is high for ball four. It's fourth walk issue. Now we got runners on the corners. One gone here in the top of the fourth. Clip Wright will make his way out to the mound. Discussion here now with the senior pitcher. 21. Hunter. And the infield Hogan. as well. It's Hunter Hogan due up now. Struck out swinging his first at bat in the second inning. <laughs> National championship about 10 minutes away. From starting. Purdue and the Yukon, pair of one seats. Meeting is over with Wright and company. And 
Hoger, 0 for 1, the strikeout. Runners on the corners here, one gone. Corner info going to play in, middle infield a double play depth. Runner takes off, first pitch, misses high for ball one, the throw. Good job by Emerson to pick that one out. Now we got runners in second and third. Big situation here for Lawrence County. You have a pair now warming up in the Lawrence County bullpen. Next pitch fouled away for strike one. One and one the count now to Hogan, the eight hole hitter here for the other Wildcats. Big situation in for playing in for Lawrence County. The one one. In there for strike two. And Hogan is not happy about it. He. Had a controversial moment in his first at bat. Squared around the bunt. Got hit by the pitch, but he didn't get his bad head back. Didn't like that. Eventually struck out two pitches later. The one, two. That one gets away. Emory will score, and it's a three to nothing total home lead. Wild pitches have kind of been the depth here of. Lawrence County so far in this game. Two and two, the count now to Hogan. Two, two. On the outside corner for strike three, and that is the second out of the inning. Six strike out of the game for Bentley. Two gone here in the top of the fourth. Now brings up the nine hole hitter and Trevor Cole, who grounded into a double play to Bentley. Now batting the second inning. Trevor Cole. So walks and wild pitches. If not much defense can do about that. First pitch here from Bentley. This is high and in for ball one. Bentley now at 67 pitches, 38 strikes, 29 balls. The one up. Sitting in the air to right field, true a kid. Doesn't have to go far for it. Makes the catch, and that one will end the inning. Tolalma adds one in the top of the fourth. They lead it four to three to nothing as we go to the bottom of the fourth. Coming up next on the Exports Network. Whether you're shopping in Lawrenceburg, Loretto, Summertown, or Mount Pleasant, Tegan's Food Stores has you covered with the best quality food at the best prices. From Cash Saver to Superama and CB Foods, stop by your neighborhood Tegan's Food Store today. The Hidden Garden, located just off the square in downtown Lawrenceburg, is your hometown oasis for massage, aesthetics, full hair and nail services, and body waxing. Gift certificates are available, and be sure to follow them on Facebook for their specials. The Hidden Garden, your peace, your place. 222 Pulaski Street, Lawrenceburg, Tennessee, or phone 931-762-979. If you want the best clean and wash experience, you need to catch the happy wave at Tidal Wave Auto Spa. Don't settle for streaks, dirt residue, water spots, and weak vacuums that you can get at just any car wash. At all our locations, you will be greeted by a smiling attendant who will pre-wash your car front and back to remove any stubborn bugs and dirt before guiding you through the tunnel, where your car will be treated to the ultimate spa treatment with state-of-the-art equipment and one-of-a-kind wash experience that will give your car a showroom shine. Afterwards, you can help yourself to our free powerful vacuums, cleaning cloths, and glass and surface cleaner for the perfect finishing touch. When it comes to caring for your car, don't settle for any wash and pay for all the extras. Get the best when you catch the happy wave at your local Tidal Wave Auto Spa. Back here at Grider Stadium, we go to the bottom of the fourth here. Total on the lead in Lawrence County, 3 to nothing in game two of this district double header. True kid to lead things off, followed by T.J. Gobble, Cade Schultz. First pitch here for Morris. This is hit high and deep. Way back, this ball is gone. Truett Kidd for the second time this season has gone deep and the Wildcats have cut the lead to three to one. Their third home run of the doubleheader. A no doubter off the bat. Now back number 14, TJ Gobble. What a shot there from Truett Kidd. 
So three to one now. It's the Tullahoma lead after the kid, solo homer. Brings up Gobble, who struck out but reached base via a wild pitch. First pitch from Morris misses away for ball one. Here's a one up. Misses away for ball two. It's a two up. That one's in there for strike one. And the two one. Misses away for ball three. And the three one. Big swing and a miss for strike two, and the count goes full. Three balls and two strikes. Next pitch from Morris. Misses away for ball four, and for the second time of the game, TJ Gobble reaches base. This time off a walk. One on nobody Cole out here. Schultz. In the bottom of the fourth. It's the third walk issued by Morris. Does have a hit by pitch, so four free passes in the game. Schultz, who's 0 for 1, strikeout looking in the second. Had a big lead by Gobble at first. First pitch here for Morris. This is high for ball one. A 1 up. And. This is away for ball two. And the 2 0. Swing and a miss for strike one. And the 2-1. Ground ball. Played by Morris. He will throw over to first, and it's in time. It will move Gobble over to second base on the ground out. Batting number seven, Gavin Glass. That brings up Gavin Glass. One gone here in the bottom of the fourth. Now, Clem Wright out to have a discussion with the field umpire. Maybe first baseman in Emory, and maybe his foot was off. Couldn't really tell from my spot. Now the field umpire will come have a discussion with the home plate umpire, and I imagine the call is going to stand. And they will call him out. So one gone. Brings up Gavin Glass. Struck out looking in his first to bat in the third inning. Facing Morris here for the second time. Morris now at 67 pitches, 34 balls at 33 strikes. Runner on second, one out. First pitch from Morris. Breaking ball in there for strike one. one Breaking ball misses away and low for ball one. It's up the count. One ball and one strike. Wind has died down here at Grider Stadium. The 1-1. One, one. Hits the outside corner for strike two. One and two to count here to Glass. And one, two. 
Breaking ball misses in. Ravens up the count of two balls and two strikes. Morris with a long look here at the signs from Lemon. 2 2. Fastball swung on a miss for strike three. That's the second out of the inning. Seven strike out of the game for Morris. Two gone now brings up the nine hole hitter and Kaysen Smith. Ground ball to third base in his first at bat in the third inning. Caden Smith. So long look at Gobble at second. First pitch is in there for strike one. And the 0 1. And he goes around for strike two. Comes the 0-2 in the dirt for ball one. And the 1-2. This is high and away. Deuces on the board with two balls, two strikes, and two outs. Runner on second, here in the bottom of the fourth, 3-1, Tullahoma lead. And the 2-2. Two -two. Yeah. Strike three, and that one will end the inning. Lawrence County gets a run back of a solo home run from True Kitts, a 3 1 total on the lead as we go to the top of the fifth next on the X Sports Network. The Summit of Lawrenceburg is the premier senior and assisted living community in the region. The Summit makes it home for you or your loved one with diverse suites that welcome and encourage community, plus gathering spaces, neighborhoods, daily activities, and a wonderful staff that supports you every day. Hi, I'm Tara Blue. I'm the new director of The Summit, and we would like to invite you and your family to come and tour our facility. We would love to see you here. This is Jason at Volco Auto Supply in Lawrenceburg. For over 90 years, Volco has been a family-owned company. We're proud of our past and excited about our future. We're open to the public for wholesale and retail trade. We carry product lines such as Milwaukee Tools, Lucas Oil, and Malco products. We carry all major brands of lubricants like Shell Rotella, Haviland, Castrol GTX, Mystic, Motorcraft, Valvoline, Kindle, and Mobile. We here at Volco offer a complete line of car detailing supplies, shop supplies, tire repair products, and lawnmower supplies. Check us out online at volcoautosupply.com or at 416 Buffalo Road here in Lawrenceburg. Truitt's Garage Doors in Leoma, Tennessee is your one stop for new garage door installations for all commercial and residential buildings, plus they offer full service on all existing doors. Need a new garage door opener? Truitt's Garage Doors has you covered. As an Amar Gold and LiftMaster dealer, Truitt's Garage Doors offers the best pricing anywhere in the area. A family owned and operated business, Truitt's Garage Doors has been helping Tennessee and Alabama residents since 1999. Call the pros today at Truitt's Garage Doors, 931-201-646. Back here at Grider Stadium. We go to the top of the fifth, Tullahoma leading Lawrence County, three to one. First pitch from Isaiah Bentley to the top of the order, and Andrew Fulmer missed away for ball one. Here's the next pitch. This is away for ball two. 2-1. 
two and oh, the count here to former one for two singled scored a run in the first flew out the right and third it's a two oh foul back for strike one and the two one this is way high over his head for ball three Definitely not happy with himself after that one. And Lawrence County bullpen continuing to work. Look, you got Andrew Kidd and Caden Short down there warming up. It's a 3 1. Hit in the air to deep left center field. Going back on it and over his head. And that's going to one off the wall. He's now going to round second. And a good relay there by Lawrence County. And Fulmer leads off the inning with a double to left center. Second extra base hit of the game here for the other Wildcats. And now just their second other double header. Going to bring up Balin Tootin. 0 for 1. Walked in the first. Struck out looking in the third. First pit, oh, Bentley now going to check on former first, second, excuse me. First pitch here from Bentley. Misses for ball one. And the one up. This is low and Cope. Can't get the, pull the trigger to get Fulmer out there at third. So another wild pitch allows another runner to move base. Fourth run of the game now, 90 feet away, nobody out. 2 0 count here to uh, two. And Phil playing in here for Lawrence County. 2 0. Fouled away for strike one. The 2-1, fouled away for strike two. Finley right shaking off Cope. The 2-2. Two -two. On the outside corner for strike three, and that's the first out in the inning. The seventh strikeout of the game, one gone here on the top of the fifth inning. It's going to bring up J. Ron Morris, the opposing pitcher. Struck out Morris. swinging in the first, walked in the third. First pitch here from Bentley. Foul back for strike one. Do have some action in the Tullahoma bullpen. The 0 1. In there for strike two. Much to the dismay of the Tullahoma fan base. So both sides, fans, have a bit to gripe about the home plate umpire. The 0 2. Breaking ball. Missed away for ball one. Even Tullahoma fans felt bad for Isaiah on that one. Here's the one, too. Swung on a miss for strike three, and that's the second out of the inning. Two gone. After back-to-back -back strikeouts here on the top of the fifth. Brings up Evan Tomlin, 0 for 1, sacrifice fly in the first. Tap back to Bentley, the pitcher in the third. So Bentley with a chance to get out of the jam here at a runner on third, nobody out. He's got back-to-back -back strikeouts. He's got eight in the game off 82 pitches. First pitch here from Bentley. Misses in for ball one.
the one up. Foul back for strike one. One and one the count here, four hole hitter for Tullahoma. And the one one, this is high for ball two. The two one, foul back, count evens up. Deuces on the board. Two balls, two strikes, and two outs. Runner on third. Starting a job by both benches here to get a lot of these, many of these foul balls as they can back in the play. It's a joint effort when you got a big ballpark like this. The 2-2. Two -two. Sent foul down the right field line and will go into the Lawrence County bullpen. The 2-2. Two -two. Set back foul again. A good battle here between Bentley and Tomlin. Isaiah now at 88 pitches here, four and two thirds. Bentley shaking off Cope. The 2-2. Two -two. This is away and the count goes full at three balls and two strikes. It's the seventh pitch of the at bat. The next pitch sent a rocket down the right field line, but foul. That was pitch number eight. Next pitch here from Bentley. Tapper back to Bentley. A run over the first, throws it in time, and that one will end the inning. Got out of a huge jam there on the top of the fifth. It's a 3-1 Tullahoma lead. So we go to the bottom half of the inning next on the Exports Network. Master's Home Gallery, where you'll always get a special price every day. Shop their new showroom full of name brand furniture, sofas, recliners, dining and bedroom suits, Serta bedding, lots of tables and chairs just to match your decor. McMaster's Home Gallery also has GE appliances. Stop by on Highway 43 in Loretto or call 853-6140. LUS is committed to our customers, from providing and maintaining energy efficient utility services to friendly, helpful customer service, LUS is there. At LUS, we're always challenging everything we know, every day. We strive to improve efficiency and reliability while focusing on our responsibility to our customers and the community. It's our promise to provide dependable service to our customers every time. Because we don't just work in Lawrence County, we live here too. Efficiency, reliability, accuracy. 
trust title and escrow of Lawrence County to provide exceptional title insurance services. Offering a wide range of title services across Tennessee, our team is unmatched. In fact, we're the most experienced closing team around. We get the job done on time at a fair price and ensure every last detail is correct. Our goal is to give you peace of mind. When you work with us, you work with people who live where you do. We understand the Back here at Grider Stadium as we go. The bottom of the fifth here, three to one, Toloma lead in game two of the doubleheader. Mason Bratcher, the new pitcher here for Toloma. First pitch here to Jack Emerson is fouled away for strike one. Top of the order due up here for the Wildcats with Emerson, Bedford, and Bentley. Zero one. This is high for ball one. Bentley, who gave up a leadoff double. Runner got to third on a wild pitch with nobody out. He got two strikeouts and a tapper back to him. He got out of the inning with no damage. This one skied in the air on the infield. Cole at second base, camps underneath, makes the catch, and that's the first out in the inning. One guard here in the bottom of the fifth. Brings up Alex Bedford. 0 for 1, strikeout looking in the first and walked in the third. Part of the Wildcats stranding the bases loaded there in that third inning. Facing Bratcher for the first time. Here's the first pitch. Breaking ball misses high and away for ball one. The one up. Big swing and a miss for strike one. One one. This is high for ball two. Wind picking up a hair, blowing straight out the center. Two one. Bedford crushes this one. The deep right field. It's got a chance. It is gone. Back to back games. Alex Bedford goes deep. His fifth of the season, and the Wildcats have cut the lead. The three to two. He Bentley crushed that one. Isaiah Bentley. His fifth of the year. Brings up Isaiah Bentley. So back to back innings, the Wildcats have picked up a homer. First pitch here from Bratcher. Breaking ball misses away for ball one. Bentley is 0 for 1, grounded out in the first and walked in the third. This pitch, this is low and away for ball two. It's the 2 0. This is low and away for ball three. Right, giving out a play. It might be a take sign here to make sure Isaiah makes the right decision. Here's the 3-0. That one misses low for ball four. Back-to-back -back walks for Isaiah Bentley. Reaches base for the second time. Back number four, A.J. Daniel. Brings up A.J. Daniel. 0 for 2 with a pair of strikeouts in the second and the third. Looking for some redemption here. The tying run on first base with the one out here in the bottom of the fifth. First pitch from Bratcher, and that one's in there for strike one. Bedford's home run is the fourth hit in the doubleheader by Lawrence County. Two by him, one by T.J. Gobble in the first game, and Truett Kim went deep to left in the fourth inning. Here's the 0-1. It's in the dirt, going to get away. Bentley's going to take off for second base. Gets in there with a the wild pitch. Now the tying runs in scoring position. Here's a 1-1. One, one. 
Swung on a miss for strike two on a ball that was way over his hands. One and two the count now. One, two. And Daniel's going to skip, shoot this one in the left field, and it's down for a base hit. Bentley's going to go in the third, and now we got runners on the corners and one out. So A.J. Daniel shoots that one in the left field. Bang number 20, Andrew Kidd. Bring up Truett Kidd. Kidd, who had a solo homer to left on the first pitch he saw in the bottom of the fourth inning. Now he's got runners on the corners here with one out. Is Lemon going to give out the first and third signals here. Middle infield, double play depth. Corner infield playing even with the bags. Outfield pretty much normal, like they've been the majority of the game. But a big situation here for the Wildcats. Tying run 90 feet away. First pitch, breaking ball misses away for ball one. Blocked there by Lemon behind the plate. Snagged that one from going the backstop. And the one up. Ground ball. Going over the third baseman's head. That's in the left, the base hit. Bentley's going to score. Daniel in the second, and we are tied at three. True a kid's second DJ RBI Allen. of the game, and it is three all here with just one gun and two on the bottom of the fifth inning. Brings up T.J. Gobbles, reach base twice on a swing, swinging wild pitch. And a walk, takes the first pitch on the outside corner for strike one. <laughs> Long look at the sign Bratcher has, and now T.J.'s going to call time. Everyone gets a chance to reset themselves. Three all here in the bottom of the fifth inning. The 0-1, and the dirt for ball one. Ends up the count of one ball and one strike. The 1-1, one, one. and there for strike two. TJ wishes he would have pulled the trigger on that one. To the count, two on one out here. Next pitch in the dirt. Another good block by Lemon. Evens up the count of two balls and two strikes. Two, two. This is low for ball three. Full count here to Gobble. Next pitch. In the dirt for ball four, and everybody will fans a base. Loads of bases loaded as Gobble reaches base for the third time in the game. Bases loaded. One gone here in the bottom of the fifth. We'll bring up Cole Schultz. 0 for 2. Struck out looking in the second. Grounded out to the pitcher in the fourth. Oh, it came up, clutch two out hit. Late inning stretches for Lawrence County and their game one win in extra innings. Bratcher 23 pitches here and through just a third of an inning. He's given up two runs off two hits and a pair of walks. Now Clint right out here for Lawrence County. We might be having a pitch runner and it is Caden Smith who's going to come out. I think he's going to come in for either TJ or Truett. Daniel at third. Does have speed, so I don't think it's the issue there. Yeah, he's going to bring out Truett. So Caden Smith 
go out and run for him. It'll be a pitch run situation. It's a 7 all hitter. Looking for some redemption. Corner infield playing in, middle infield, even with the bag, double play depth. Bases loaded, one out. First pitch from Bratcher. Misses away for ball one. In the one up. Misses away for ball two. Two zero in there for strike one. And the two one. Schultz sits that one in the center field. Falls in for a base hit. Daniel on his way home. He will score in the Wildcats lead at four to three. Cole Schultz with a clutch RBI single. And the Wildcats with their first lead in game number two. Bring up Gavin Glass, 0 for 2 with a pair of strikeouts so far in the game. Looking for some redemption here at the bases loaded and one out. First pitch, high and in for ball one. Wildcats with three runs here in the bottom of the fifth to take the lead. And the one up in there for strike one. Alex Befford solo homer. It's the first run here of the inning. It's the one one. Breaking ball misses away for ball two. True a kid RBI single, second of the game, and then Cole Schultz, RBI single. Three runs scored here. 2 1. Swung on and missed for strike two. More than likely, that was going to be ball three there. Two and two the count here to Glass. Two, two. Missed for ball three. <laughs> Full count here to Glass. Full count offer. Swung on a miss for strike three in the second out of the inning. First strikeout for Bratcher. Two gone here in the bottom of the fifth. He's up Case and Smith. 0 for 2, grounded out to third in the third, struck out looking in the fourth. He had the go-ahead single for Lawrence County in the eighth inning. Game number one, first pitch. Hit high in the air, and this might stay in play, Lemon. And what a good job by Bratcher behind the play, backing up his catcher. And that one ends the inning. Lawrence County with three in the bottom of the fifth. They lead it four to three as we go to the top of the six here. Coming up next on the Exports Network. A moment in real estate with my dad, Jeff Lee. You know, I get asked a lot about what the market's going to do, how's the real estate market. I've been selling real estate for a long time, and nobody has a crystal ball. And you know what? When it's your time to buy or your time to sell, it really doesn't matter what the market's doing. It's your time, and you have to do something maybe. What makes a difference is the agents and the experience that go to work for you. We're Keller Williams Hood Company, located here in Lawrenceburg, Tennessee. We can help. Hood Company, powered by Keller Williams, the number one name in real estate. Efficiency.
what really matters during the ball game, we're at that point in the season where some are just beginning, some have already ended, and others are at that point where it's either win or go home. Depending on what your perspective is, it changes everything, doesn't it? In 2 Corinthians 4 and verse 18, we're reminded we don't look at the things that are seen, but at the things that are unseen. For the things that are seen are temporary, but the things that are unseen are eternal. Keep your focus, keep your perspective on the right things, the things of God, the eternal things. And that message brought to you by your friends at the Leoma Church of Christ. Back here at Grider Stadium, it's a 4-3 Lawrence County lead as we go to the top of the six. Colton Emery to lead things off, 0 for 1 with a strikeout and a walk. First pitch here from Bentley, fouled straight back for strike one. Bentley threw five innings, three runs off four hits, four walks, eight strikeouts, now at 92 pitches. Zio one. Misses in for ball one. Last inning for Isaiah. Well, been, has been in action for Lawrence County since I believe the third inning. So 1-1. One, one. Ground ball. We'll get through the left side for a base hit. So Emery will reach base for the second straight at bat, second time in the game. First hit for Tullahoma in a while. The fifth of the game, each side now five hits. Brings up the six hole hitter and Philip Limit. One for Bill two. Limit. Double down the right field line in the second. Struck out swinging in the fourth. Got Caden Smith and Caden Short down there warming up. That's what it looks like. No action in the Tullahoma bullpen. First pitch from Bentley on the outside corner for strike one. And a big lead by Emery over at first. The 0 1. Ripped in the left field, a base hit. Back to back singles here by Tolahoma. Brings up the opposing pitcher, Mason Bratcher. Now back number 10, Mason Bratcher. Bratcher, one for one. RBI single in the second and walked in the fourth. Clint Wright will make his way out down right, here. See number what second-year head coach Fanny. does here in this situation. And that's going to be it for Bentley. So while the pitch and change goes down, we will take a break here on the X Sports Network. For the best meal from south of the border, head to Cocina Real in Puente Grande for lunch and dinner. With a wide array of mouth-watering entrees, there is something for everyone on the menu. And you can't forget the cheese dip. They'll treat you like family, and you'll never leave hungry. Make Cocina Real Mexican Restaurant and Puente Grande Mexican Restaurant your choice for authentic cuisine. Located in Lawrenceburg, Tennessee. Make your property rock and roll with services from GNS Excavating. Specializing in white sand, compost, mulch, topsoil, landscape gravel, and still landscape edging. Turn to the pros who know how to make your project shine with years of experience. The best part is they're locally owned and operated. Choose from a vast selection of mulch and rock from their conveniently located facility at number three Valley Road in Lawrenceburg, just off Buffalo Road. Phone 931-279-3841 and get started today. Patient care at its finest is found at Tennessee Valley Family Care. From primary to infant care, physicals, women's health, allergies, diabetes management, plus on-site labs and ultrasounds. Let practitioners Liz Phillips, Kathy Cohen, and Stephanie Tucker care for your health and your entire family's health. Let Tennessee Valley Family Care help you reach your health care goals.
Back here at Grider Stadium, Logan Clayton's the new pitcher in the game for Lawrence County. Isaiah Bentley has gone in the left. Mason Bratcher, one for one, RBI single and a walk in his first two at-bats. Runners on a first and second, nobody out. Lawrence County with a one-run lead here in the top of the six. First pitch from Clayton, misses for ball one. But one up. Bunt laid down. Clayton Fields throws over to first. And can't be play cannot be made. Runs going to come down and score. And Tola almost tied it up at four. Runners on the corners here. Now batting number 21. Four all game. Okay. A punter Hogan, 0 for 2 with a pair of strikeouts. Runners on the corners. Nobody out for all game here in the top of the sixth. First pitch from Clayton. Hit high in the air to deep left field. Bentley going back on it. Makes the catch. Runner tagging up. Throw will not be in time until the homo retake the lead at 5 to 4. Sacrifice fly there by Hogan. Second out of the inning. Now batting number four, Trevor Cole. It's going to bring up Trevor Cole, the second baseman, 0 for 2. Grounded into a double play in the second, flew out the right in the fourth. So after the Wildcats got three in the bottom of the fifth, Tolome answers with two in the top of the sixth. Clayton takes the throw. And they try <laughs> I don't think everyone was on board there. First pitch here from Clayton. Swung on a miss for strike one. Yo, one. Ground ball here to Emerson. Throws over to Glass in time. Throw over to first, and that one's away. And actually went out of play. So the runner will go to second base off the fielder's choice air. So two now gone. Number 11, Andrew And the Fulmer. top of the sixth inning brings up the top of the order and Andrew Fulmer. Fulmer, who's two for three in the game, including a double. This one skied in the deep center field. Befford didn't move, makes a catch, and that one will end at the inning. Tolomar retakes the lead five to four here in the top of the six. Wildcats try the answer in the bottom half of the inning. Coming up next on the X Sports Network.
Hey everyone, this is Landon Saunders. And this is Nate Patterson with Cloud9 Fiber. We're excited to finally be able to offer Lawrenceburg our blazing fast, reliable, and affordable fiber internet services. If you're looking for a more reliable and more affordable provider, we at Cloud9 Fiber have you covered. Plans start at $50 a month and we can offer up to a gigabit to your home or business. We are excited to be able to offer your first month of service entirely free. We encourage you to sign up on cloud9fiber.com or by calling 931 201 9098 so we can help you make the switch At today. At CB Linen, fast, friendly, and reliable service is our promise to you because you're not just a customer, you're family. From multi use linen to branded floor coverings and a complete range of cleaning supplies, CB Linen is here to make sure you have everything you need. From our high quality products to our fast, friendly, and reliable service, you'll experience the difference with CB Linen. Because you're not just a client, you're part of our family. You'll be winning with CNB Linen. Swap and Shop Center in Lawrenceburg is your go-to stop to complete your home, business, a combination of both, or really anything you can think of. With one of them's biggest selection of bedroom furniture, name brand mattresses, recliners, living room and dining room suits, accents for the home or office, quality name brand appliances, and did I mention Swap and Shop services what they sell? This is family owned and operated business at its best. And the best part is, they'll treat you like family too. We got bedroom suits, mattresses, dining room suits, appliances, outdoor equipment, mowers and more. See us at the Swap and Shop Center in Lawrenceburg, Tennessee. This is the X Sports Network. Back at Grider Stadium, a 5-4 Tullahoma lead. Here's a retook the lead there in the top of the six. Top of the order due up for the Wildcats. Trying to answer once again. Jack Emerson to lead things off. 0 for 2. A pair of pop-outs a second. They hit by pitch. First pitch here from Bracklin. Excuse me, Bratcher. Misses high for ball one. Bratcher in his one inning of work, three runs off four hits, a pair of walks, a strikeout, now at 35 pitches. Here's a 1-0. Fouled out of play for strike one. Here's a 1-1. Breaking ball in the dirt for ball two. Here's a 2-1. Sent into center field. Tootin going to rush in on it. Makes a running catch for the first out in the inning. Now batting number eight, Alex Bedford. One gone here in the bottom of the sixth inning. Brings up Alex Bedford. Oh, one for two. Strikeout looking in the first. Walked in the third. And a solo homer to get things going in the fifth. His second home run in this double header. And he hit it off Bratcher. First pitch, missed low and away for ball one. The one up, ground ball, here to first base, and they get him out of first. The play over there at first by Tullahoma. Two gone here in the bottom of the sixth inning. He's a now, by Isaiah uh, Bentley, 0 for 1. Ground out to third in the first and walks in the third and fifth inning. Scored a run in the fifth as well. Bentley trying to start some two out magic. First pitch is breaking ball over his head for ball one. Slipped out of Bratcher's grip there. Here's a one-up. Missed away for ball two. The two-up. Missed away for ball three.
Comes a 3-0. Swung on a miss for strike one as Bentley was swinging for the fences there to tie it up. Hitters count, though, still for Bentley. Long look at the sign by Bratcher. And the 3-1. Missed away for ball four. So for the third time in the game, Isaiah Bentley has reached via walk. Brings up A.J. Daniel designated okay, hitter, one four. for three. A pair of strikeouts Daniel. in the second and the third. And singled in the left center and scored a run in the fifth. A.J. Daniel trying to stay hot here, keep this inning alive. Not a big lead by Bentley at first. First pitch to Daniel. Swung on a miss for strike one. And filled out for just playing normal here for Tullahoma against Daniel. The 0 1. Daniel uh, Bentley takes off. This one is sent in the left field. Left fielder makes the catch, and that one will end at the inning. Wildcats, Stram That's one in the bottom another. of the sixth. It's a five to four total on the lead as we go to the top of the seventh next here. A local law firm respected throughout the state. Generations of clients have turned to Boston, Holt, and Durham since 1948. We assist individuals and businesses with their legal needs, including real estate, property closings, personal injury, employment discrimination, and family law. Our clients get the personal attention and convenience of a hometown law firm with the resources and ability to handle any case. Come see us at Boston, Holt, and Durham. Care keeps your home or business comfortable. For more than 20 years, we've provided outstanding residential and commercial services through Southern Middle Tennessee. Whether you need assistance with your heat, air conditioning, preventive maintenance, or anything in between, trust our reliable team to get the job done. We'll take the time to figure out your specific needs and recommend what we believe is right and best for your situation. We've been using Arctic Air for over 15 years now. Their service is great, they're here when we need them, and their prices are competitive. They take the worry out of the heat and air so I don't have to. Arctic Air, when you need us, we'll be there. Back here at Grider Stadium as we go to the top of the seven, Tulloma leading Lawrence County 5-4. to four. Logan Clayton back on the mound here for Lawrence County. Balin Tootin to lead things off here for Tullahoma. 0 for 2 in the game, a walk and a pair of strikeouts. It's a first pitch strike here from Clayton. Z01, breaking ball. This is away for ball one. Here's a 1-1. One, one. It's a foul down the left field line. One and two the count now. One, two, misses in and evens up the count of two balls and two strikes. The two, two, ground ball, and that will get through the left. Nope, Schultz made the play, but won't get up and make the throw and wasn't gonna have a chance to get two in anyways. An infield single. 
One on, nobody out here in the top of the seventh now inning. That brings up J. Ron, J. Ron Morris, the third baseman. Morris. 0 for 2, pair of strikeouts and a walk. Face off of Clayton here for the first time. Lawrence County's bullpen still working hard down the right field line. Not a big lead by Tootin over at first. First pitch in there for strike one. Throw from Cope. Not being tied. As Tootin gets in with the stolen base. On one, the count. Runner at second base. It looks like we might get a pitch runner in here for Tullahoma. Come in for Tootin. Runner for 28th, Avery Smith. The Avery Smith coming into the game. Here's the 0-1. Skied high in the air. This one might stay in play. Gobble calling everyone off, makes the catch. That's the first out in the inning. Great job by TJ to come over there and make the play as we've got one gone here in the top of the seventh. Now batting number 18, Evan Tomlin. Evan Tomlin. Tom on 0 for, excuse me, 0 for 2. First pitch misses low for ball one. Next pitch, this one is crushed in the deep left field. Bedford back on it, makes the catch. Tomlin gave that one a ride for the second time in the second time in this double header, and it turns now into the second out. He absolutely hammered that one. Brings up Colton Emery. One for two, struck out in the first, walked and scored a run in the fourth, singled and scored a run in the sixth. It was a tying run there in the top of the sixth inning. Alex Befford went back to the warning track to make that catch. First pitch here from Clayton. This is in. I get blocked by Cope for ball one. Here's a one up. Just misses away for ball two. Here's a 2 out on the outside corner for strike one. Next pitch, tip back and caught for strike two. And the 2-2 misses. Good job by Cope to block that one. Full count now here to Emery. It's been tough at the plate here so far in this game. Full count offer. Fouled away on the sixth pitch of the at-bat. Right now at 21 pitches here through an inning and two-thirds. He's just given up the one hit. And 
and the full count offering. Yeah, it's a breaking ball high and in, and he issues his first walk of the game. Two on two out here on the top of the seven. Brings up Philip Lemon. Pair of hits, two for three in the game. Doubled down the right field line in the second. Struck out Phillip swinging in the fourth. Lemon. Singled in the sixth. And his courtesy runner has scored twice. Lemon here will come to play for the fourth time. First time against Clayton, but Coach Clint Wright making his way out for Lawrence County here. Knowing that Lemon's had a good game so far. Let's see what does in this situation. Now, if a pitching change is going to happen or not here. And so stick with Clayton here in this situation. Clayton's doing a good job out of the bullpen, just like Logan Mays did in the previous game. Trying to get out of this jam here, keep it a one-run game, going into the bottom of the seventh. First pitch from Clayton in there for strike one. And the 0 1. Breaking ball in there for strike two. And the 0-2. Swung on a miss for strike three, and that one will end at the inning. Clayton gets out of a jam. The top of the seventh, final shot for Lawrence County coming up on the bottom of the seventh. It's next on the Exports Network. Flooring sets the tone throughout your home. For flooring that makes the right first impression, start by choosing us, Floored by Justin. A one-stop flooring destination. Our new location stands alone for unequaled customer service and selection. Owner Justin Story's mastery of custom hardwood inlays means every room can have a custom look. Discover how the right choice of hardwood, laminate, carpet, or tile can set the tone in your home. Contact Floored by Justin today. Hey, this is Phil Hooper. Get the look you want for your favorite school, church, or business with apparel from HD Ink Screen Printing in Leoma, Tennessee. Got a logo you need embroidered or screen printed? Let HD Ink give you the professional look that sets the bar in today's world. We do fundraisers and custom designed apparel and so much more. Call today, 931-201-2961 or come see us at our new shop located at 26 Ingram Road in Leoma. Remember, HD Ink for the look you want and the look you deserve. If you're stuck, then you're in luck. Call Tyler McDowell with in-service towing 24 hours a day, seven days a week for quick, reliable service. When you find yourself in a bind, in-service offers full service towing and recovery services as well as vehicle lockouts, jump starts, and emergency roadside assistance. Family owned, family operated. When you need a hand, call in-service towing or ask for them by name. Serving Southern Tennessee and North Alabama. Phone number 931-843-9098 or visit inservicespecialties.com.
is the X Sports Network. Balen Tootin, the new pitcher in the game for Tullahoma, trying to close it out here in the bottom of the seventh. First pitch here to Truett Kidd. This is low for ball one. Kidd two for three in the game. Solo homer in the fourth and an RBI single in the fifth. Flew out the center in his first at bat. Here's a 1-0. Swung on a miss for strike one. Tootin, the left-handed thrower, the 1-1. Kid, ground ball here to second. Cole makes the play, throws over to first and tie for the first out in the inning. Back number 14, T.J. Gobble. One gone here in the bottom of the seventh, brings up T.J. Gobble. 0 for 1, it's reach base in all three at-bats. Strike out wild pitch in the second and back-to-back -back walks in the fourth and fifth. First pitch here from Tootin. This is low and away for ball one. Schultz waiting on deck for Lawrence County. One for three in the game. Gavin Glass is 0 for three. Let's see what Clint White does. If Glass' spot comes up here in this inning. It's the 1 0. This is away for ball two. The 2 0. In there for strike one. Two one, low for ball three. Hitters count here for Gobble. Tootin resets. Three one here to Gobble. In there for strike two, and the count goes full. Three balls and two strikes, one out, nobody on the bottom of the seven. And a full count offer. Misses away for ball four. A one out walk worked by TJ Gobble. Time run now at first base. His third walk Schultz. of the game. Fourth time reaching base. Cole Schultz, one for three. Struck out looking in the second. Tapper back to the pitcher in the fourth and an RBI single in the fifth. Middle infield, double play depth. Corner infield playing even with the bag. Outfield just straight away at all three positions. First pitch, and goes around for strike one. The 0-1, in there for strike two. The 0-2. Swung on a miss for strike three, and that's the second out of the inning. Lawrence County down seven, through their Gavin final Glass. batter, and Gavin Glass, 0 for 3. Struck out in all three at bats. Looking for some redemption in a big way right here. First pitch here to Glass, in there for strike one. The 0 1. Swung on a miss for strike two. And the 0 2. And that one's going to get away. Gobble will go the second off the wild pitch. And to the count here to Glass. It was really high and in. Clint Rive was <laughs> taking him, telling him to take it. Take it off the elbow, the shoulder, something. So go ahead and run now. Excuse me, go ahead. Tying run in scoring position for Lawrence County. The 
One, two. This is low and in, and Gobble's going to take off. Another wild pitch to third base. Tying run now 90 feet away off back-to-back -back wild pitches. Deuce is on the board. Two balls, two strikes, two outs. The 2-2. Two -two. And that one is fouled back off of the catcher there, Lemon, even though it went in the fair territory, hit his shin guards, and Glass will stay alive. And another 2-2. Swung on a miss for strike three, and that one will end the game. Tullahoma takes game two of the doubleheader, 5-4 to four here and come from behind score. fashion. Lawrence, Lawrence County taking County the first one, 9-2-4. Our next Wild broadcast Kids. for Lawrence County Five. will be coming up on Thursday as Brooks will make its way to Tom Cruise Field. First pitch for that will be at 6-30. So this is A.J. Good here on the X Sports Network. We will see you guys then. This 